Hello. And welcome back to the NoPixel 4.0 public green server. So in the last episode, we tried to actually get into the sewers and check it out. Unfortunately, we had got a little distracted by the new fishing job that they recently added, as well as some of the new additions to the buildings on the server and ended up never figuring out how to get down there. Uh, now, right after that video, actually, I got a call back from Victor letting me know that one of his people does have a blueprint for the crowbar. Unfortunately, that person wasn't around right at that time so we weren't able to get it uh either way but today we're going to try now i have a couple ideas um one of them we're gonna need a tablet for the second one i want to find someone who's buying dirty money and after we sell it to them ask them about it but i don't think anyone is at the moment yeah no one's buying dirty laundry at the moment or i guess dirty cash if you guys want to know what it is but hopefully we're gonna be doing that uh other than that we've just been chilling uh we've been doing some jobs nikki's been helping us as well we're up to quite a bit of money quite a bit of money uh now i have been a little addicted to daisy as well bro you literally look like mr clean <laughs> yo don't you worry, got the man. blue don't shirt worry, and man. everything i love it that's actually yo, yo, uh, why is my guy me, so let me, bald let me, though let me rub that dude that's good luck <laughs> which has stopped our progress a little bit but don't worry we are still focusing on stuff and i do have uh quite quite a couple plans so first of all let's head out of our apartment and we're gonna go buy ourselves a tablet and with that tablet we're gonna try and figure something out about that sewer system if you guys remember from when we were first checking it out and looking for a fence on the server uh before we knew the one that was in sandy we had saw that there was a fence in city and we couldn't find him we tried relogging we tried going around the day uh, in the nighttime we tried going in the daytime we tried leaving the area coming back to the area everything and we couldn't find him so my idea is that he's not actually at the surface there but he's underground in the sewers and we're gonna try and figure out how to get into the sewers now i do know at least i'm pretty sure from talking to multiple people that we do need a crowbar to get into them but i'm not sure of what the access points are exactly for it or if there's multiple or if there's just one so we're gonna look around for a little bit uh first of all though let's go get ourselves a good old tablet real quick from the electronics store i believe if we purchase one of these maybe a banking card perfect and check it out if i remember correctly he's like right around the corner from heel here but again if we go into contracts go to the where is it fence okay so we did get rep from selling it to the guy up north but my question is why would there be one marked in the city then if there wasn't one actually here because wouldn't it just mark him up north Unless this is just to like throw off people that are trying to figure it out this way. That is also a possibility. But let's go check out the area. So again, the fence. Just looking like I don't I don't know if we can access that super drain or how it works. But the fence should be here, but he is not, which leads me to believe that he's below here. Because again, we have checked this area out multiple times. So we're gonna try. Let's see, is there any like sewer caps? Again, there's this one here. That one looks like it's just like a static, like regular GTA one. It doesn't look like one we could do anything with. And I don't think if we third eye it, you yeah, know, we can't see anything with it. I want to see if there's any, I swear there are some other drains that looked different. I don't remember. I saw at least one that looked completely different from this. Could be wrong about this though, but let me look around a little bit. See if we can find any other storm drain. Maybe there's like an easier entrance than the ones we've been going to or trying to figure out. I think we do need a crowbar for it no matter what though. Uh, we could call a victor and see if the guy who makes the crowbars is around by any chance let's do that real fast yo yo what's uh zez once again uh wanted to see if by any chance your guy with the uh the crowbars was around um i've actually seen the dude but he's not on the right now but i will ask and let you know 
Okay, I appreciate that. Easy. Alright, thank you, my man. Just let me know. I'll let you know. Alright, take care. Thank you, thank you. You too. Bye bye. Alright. So apparently that guy might be around, so we might be able to get one. But again, I'm not too sure where to use it. I think if we talk to them, they'll probably give us or tell us where the entrances are as we're purchasing it. We already went down this street, but I don't know. We can keep looking. I don't think it would be on like Vago's block or Ball's block, but it is a possibility. Obviously, I don't want to go down the cul-de-sac and get robbed. So not too sure. There's a lot of people around here, though. But is there any other? There's one right there. That one's that one has smoke coming from it, which is new. And there's this one, which is above above the street instead of below. So maybe there that possibly could be one. Um, I'm hoping that that's not maybe that is it, but I hope that there's multiple entrances. I don't want to be do that one. No, see that one's not above the ground. That's my thing. See, this one's normal. Hopefully, I'm not just going totally insane here. But that one's not off the ground. The one that we saw on Grove Street was off the ground. But it just sucks if it's on Grove Street because then we have to, of course, deal with the ball is all watching us open up a sewer drain. So I'm gonna go around for a bit. Uh, we'll see if we get a car call back from Victor. If not, we're going to have to try and find out how to get a crowbar from someone else. But I'm going to keep looking around and see if we can find any more of those drains that we saw in Grove Street that are kind of popped out a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually the one for Grove Street, but that's been the only one that we've seen that's actually looked different from the ones that are like completely in the ground. So I want to keep looking around for a bit and see if we can find anything or we get a call back from Victor letting us know that he has a crowbar for us to buy. Either way though, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, so I think I found another one of those sewers. This one's more above the ground as well. So we've seen this one and we've seen the one on Grove Street. The only thing that sketches me out is there are cars parked here. But we've seen two entrances so far, or two what we believe to be entrances so far. Those are the only sewer drains that look completely different than all the other ones, but I'm gonna keep looking around. See if we can find any more of them. I'm actually getting a call from Victor right now. Yo yo. Yo. So I can get you. A... It's already down to like 80 quality, but it should still last you like a while. Uh, how much do they go for? Um, I don't know. So normal price apparently is like 5k, but since this is already like a little down, I'd say like 4k maybe. Yeah, I can do that. All right, all right. You want to swing by foot? Uh, yeah, let me grab the cash. I'm gonna be a second, uh, and then I'll head over there. All right, sounds good. I'll be All here. right, thank you, man. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye bye. Take care. Perfect. What timing? That was literally like two seconds after the last clip. We did again see one more sewer entrance that we're able to go to, but then that one had cars around it, which makes it a little sketchy. But let's go grab some money, head over the fudge, and uh, buy this from our man Victor. Alrighty. Over on Fudge Lane. Should be around here somewhere. Oh, they're down there. Park on up. Wait for Mr. Victor. Yo. Yo. How's it going? Yo. Pretty good. How about you? Doing alright. See, now what the thing is, Vicky, he does kind of look like the guy. <laughs> what guy? Is he? That helped me a week ago. Fine. What did he help oh, you with? It might have been me. No, oh. hope. You know, I stole my shit. Oh, no, that wasn't me. That, wasn't <laughs> that might have been me. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, you want to give me back my 20k, bitch? Hey, man, listen, if I had 20k, I'd be uh, not oh. driving this thing. <laughs> Wait, is this the one who robbed you? No, he looks like it. But... Listen, I ain't got a gun. I ain't got 40k to pay for a fucking license. You got a gun? No. Alright, well, y'all take care. Again? Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. I, I mean, the ones it. from the roof are gone, so maybe. Oh, also, wait. Also, Any of y'all know uh, an entrance I could go in that's not like have 20 people around it? Uh, yeah, for us. Okay. In your, in your car. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you, God. Thank you, God. All right, they're gonna show us an entrance that has hopefully not a ton of people around it. Getting a little bit of help, thankfully. Marv with the Grande. I don't know if they're known for the drivers, <laughs> but honestly, they seem like chill people. It'd be nice to uh, get more known with them and definitely very helpful. Oh, okay. This is the entrance I was looking at earlier. people that entered through here okay but if you chill in this area that's why i used to chill there's not many people all right sweet hey man i thank you thank you very much is your I first time going down yeah yeah do i need anything to go down there how many bandages you got you got one should i get more of those <laughs> yeah you probably want to add two zeros behind that shit. <laughs> okay <laughs> Is this yeah. something fuck you up down there? Like the gas yes. or something? Is there gas? Okay. Yes. The smell. Oh, okay. You get used to it, it just takes a couple hours. Oh, okay, I'm good, I'm good. I can go grab some, it's no big deal. I appreciate it though. How, uh, what are your plans down there? I have no idea, I just, just want to check it out. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Okay, fair enough. Is it big or? Uh, yeah, I mean you can definitely get lost, but you got a cobra, so you're chilling. Okay, okay. I want to go down just quickly see if I can still handle the smell. Oh, that's actually a good point. Alright, well, I'm gonna go that's grab some bandages. You boys take care. Thank you very much for that. So appreciate it. That's F. Alright, so apparently we're gonna need like a shit ton of bandages because it sounds like you take damage over time from the smell unless you have uh, gotten used to it, which I'm not sure. They're checking out right now if like when you get used to it, you're good permanently, but. No idea. Either way, let's go uh, quickly buy ourselves a shit ton of band-aids and head back on over. Excited to check this out. Again, we have not checked it out yet at all. They said it's pretty big as well and you can get lost. So I'm actually very excited to check this place out. Let me go grab a shit ton of bandages and I'll meet you back at the sewer drain. Alrighty. Back over at the sewer drain. Looks like this one opens up, so I'm not sure why we needed the crowbar. I'm guessing someone else already opened this, but we have a little check on the ladder. 83 bandages. We're finally going to be exploring the sewer for our very first time. Okay, I'm not sure if uh, white attire was the best for a sewer, but which way are we going? Can we go? Let's go this way first. You know what is in here? What secrets do you hold, Mr. Sewer? Now again, there should be a fence in here, but I'm not sure. I wonder. Hmm. So I have an idea about the fence down here. I'm not sure if he maybe he buys like the car parts and stuff for more money. Or my other idea is possibly he cleans money, but I don't think that would make sense. We're already taking some damage down here. So we're going to start using some bandages. And I'm not sure if it went the right way. I'm not sure exactly how any of this place works. He did say apparently we could get lost in here, but go over to our first gross location. Create a bottles. Create with eight stoneware jugs filled in inside filled with moonshine labeled with course. I don't, I don't want to yoink some guy's stuff if he's making something over here. Anything we can do? Oh, wait, what is that? pick up oh there's something on top of here a sharp stick yoink mine uh is this just trash scavenge for items okay not sure you can't find anything of value okay so what's behind this door holy this place opens up quite a bit anything we can find i'm gonna try and just like kind of go right to like right and just follow this around as we just keep going i just saw something over here can we scavenge over here as well yes we can all right this is quite cool hopefully you guys are excited to be checking this out with us uh also when this video does release i will be streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash Zez Games if you do want to check me out. 
at 4 p.m est a little bit after that since it does take a little bit for us to get into the server but uh make sure to go check that out as well but holy this place is quite a lot bigger than i saw so far it's out like looking through these things scavenging we haven't found anything but i wonder what you can find down here can find anything of value keep searching we are losing quite a bit of hp though good thing we brought in a shit ton of bandages still didn't find anything make sure we're constantly using our bandages down here i'm gonna keep looking though i wonder what you can find in the sewers or like if maybe like these someone's already searched all this or maybe it's just a super low chance to get stuff nothing can't find anything of value is there stuff over here no okay, we are gonna explore that other area as well i kind of just damn this is way this place was way bigger than i thought it was gonna be it's still going on and we haven't even explored the other direction at all oh i found something okay we found one refined rubber oh my we're taking quite a bit of damage down here i don't know if you get anything good maybe we just got unlucky and got a little piece of rubber but let's keep bandaging up start going again and this is oh metal off cuts okay more loot damn okay we are taking quite a bit of damage now oh what is this is this the moonshine is this the moonshine area possibly hey what is this uh examine pot open still prepare recipe start cooking destroy still um i don't know if this is someone's or what yeah let's not let's not mess with it i don't know whose this is so i'm not sure if someone's like making moonshine right there or if there's something we can do but now we know where the moonshine is can we search these things let's just bandage up again i'm just gonna pretty much be spam bandaging the whole time we're down here uh he said after a couple hours of living in the sewers that will go away but for now we're gonna keep scavenging see what we can find uh we also might be exploring this place more on stream if you did want to check that out as well because this is i'm feeling we're not going to explore everything completely today like we'll try to but i'm guessing like using the using the uh moonshine and stuff is oh my gosh there's no way this keeps going it keeps going holy sh oh my gosh oh there's someone down here do we go Okay. Some people down here doing stuff. Not exactly sure what they're doing. Anything we can do over here with these things? No. Can we keep searching this stuff? Yeah. Oh man, water. Come on, give me some. Nothing. Oh, I have three. So yeah, we need two more. I don't know what this guy's doing. Come on. Oh, I got two more. What is he looking for? He got two more. Two more of what, though? And he was getting it in the water. So I don't know. Hey, what's up? Yo. What was he finding in the water? Is that a crowbar? It's a broken crowbar. What was he finding in the water? Hmm. I keep looking. I don't know what they're looking for. Hey, are you hurting? A little bit. Here. Don't worry, I, I got yeah, like 80 some... bandages on me. Well, there's some oh, condoms. shit, thank you. These yep, condoms no are like better. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Thank you. Condom bandage. Okay. Apparently, these are better. Dude, what nice sewer ass living in the sewer. <laughs> okay, I'll keep scavenging. Uh, let me try out one of these band-aids see if they actually are a lot better but we have to just like constantly bandage up down here they do seem to help quite a bit more i don't know again what if we can find anything of value but I guess I, there's no way it's just like little pieces of rubber here and there there has to be something that makes it worth it let's keep going on though 
I'm not gonna search that one pile. That's the, probably the one pile that has something good in it. Dude, how far? We haven't even gone the other way. We've been going this way the whole time. Can you go in here? Oh shit. Okay, there's like a little hobo camp. Wait, what is that? What was that? Over here. What is this? Okay, we can just scavenge this. But this this place is insane. I didn't realize how big it was. Because again, I hate to keep saying it, but we literally have not. Oh my, this is deep water again. We've not explored the other side unless we've made a complete circle. Which I don't think we have. Oh, this is just a trash bag. Pick up. What is, what's that? Hundred and do we just find 104 sharp sticks? I don't know what these sticks are for either. We found 104 of them. I don't know why I'm using the bad bandages again, but interesting. Okay, is this a dead end? Is this the end of the first part? Okay, yeah, we didn't go in a circle. We went all the way around. Okay, so I guess we head back and explore the other way now. Um, if it's as big as this way, this place is freaking huge. Could definitely do some really cool RP down here. Like run a whole little society, to be honest, in the sewers. I'm going to keep searching stuff on the way back. See if we can find anything of value. It doesn't seem like we got anything crazy yet, though. Nothing. Okay. Oh, shit. We, we got to make sure. Okay. We actually, we didn't keep exploring this way. We did not because we didn't go this way still. Because we took that little door down there. Anything? What is that yellow light? Is that just like a little lamp, I'm guessing? What is this? Is this just trash? Scavenge for items. I don't know what that other guy was looking for in the water. Because he was like, oh, I found two more. That's all I needed. Well, it seems like we're finding nothing, though. I wonder if there's like rare items you can find inside here while scavenging. Um, wow. I wonder if it keeps going. Try searching these other two crates or other two little boxes. Nothing. All right, let's keep going on. What is through this door? Oh my God, it keeps going. How freaking big is this place? I'll start salvaging some more stuff, but how freaking big is this place? It just keeps going on and on. And again, we're exploring only one side of it. Unless it's been going in a circle this whole time and I haven't noticed. We've only explored one side of this. Again, we're going to try and hug right and explore everything kind of like how you do a maze. But this place is absolutely insanely big. I wonder why. I wonder if this is why you get so much lag on the south side. But either way, we're going to keep going on. What is... Holy sh... This thing just keeps going, man. It just doesn't... Oh, shit. We need to keep, remember, make sure we keep bandaging. This place just does not stop going on. I gotta start running at this point. It's so big. I keep going. We'll swap over to the other side. What the... This isn't... This is probably one of the craziest things I've seen in, in GTA... 5M servers, to be honest. Like, ever. This place is insane. I hate to keep saying that. Oh, wait. There's a green light over here. Is this anything different? Or is this a way to get out? This might... Yes, this exit. I think this is just another way to get out of the sewers. Right? Okay, what is that? Is that just a box? Okay, that's just a box. Do you keep going here? Or is this where we came from? This looks like where we came from, almost. Let me just let me just see where this leads to. Oh no, this is another dead. Oh no, this is where no, because the one that we came down, I believe there's two ways to go. Yeah, we're not gonna go up there because I don't know where we be gonna we would be coming out at. But I remember when we initially went down here, I believe we were able to go either way. So we have not gone in the circle yet. But damn, this is crazy. Let's keep going. Make sure we keep bandaging. Eventually, there has to be something. I should have looked on my map for the fence so we could go directly to him, but I kind of just wanted to explore down here. 
Okay, this looks like a little bit of a different passageway. Nothing crazy though. Can we go under this? There we go. Where? Wait, did I see something over here? This light? No, I didn't. Wait, there's something over there though. What is that? Oh, trash in the ground. Okay. Keep scav scavenging. Eventually we'll find something. Nothing of value as usual. I wonder if there's like a hub where like there's a bunch of stuff around or like a general like huge area. Oh, well, this is a pretty big area. Literally a freaking basketball court and shit in the middle of the sewers. Anything around here? What was that? Pick up. What is this? A tool set? completely destroyed tool set now i see why it was on the ground uh i don't know where to go at this point uh, i guess we just keep going with the strategy of staying to the right so what's the first entrance on the right it's over here anything in here or oh my gosh it keeps keeps going even further down um i'm gonna be honest i'm a little lost as to where the heck we are at the moment uh, goes into this two-sided area. Keep, make sure we keep bandaging. Don't want to forget about that. Can I do anything with this? No. Is this just a dead end? Okay, this is just... No, it keeps freaking going. Um... Wow. Does it keep going? Like, indefinitely? Like, how freaking big is this place? All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back to like that main area. I'm gonna keep sca scavenging here and there, but let's quickly head back to that main area. See, uh, see what else there is. I don't know if I want to keep going this way or if we're missing something big. I'm just not seeing. Let's keep going on. Let's go back to that uh big like huge area that we were at a second ago. All right, back over here. Um, let's just check out each one of the entrances and see. There's like anything immediately. Okay, this is more moonshine things, but I'm not sure if these are like people's moonshine things, so I don't want to touch them. What's back here? It's trash. Yeah, I'm not sure if people like place these down or what. Cause I don't want to mess it mess with it if it is someone's like moonshine still that they're working on. I don't want to be annoying like that. Okay, this one actually don't does not have a dead end. This thing keeps going as well. But does it lead to anything interesting? That is the question, because the other one didn't real. Oh, wait. Okay, this is new. Like a three-way intersection thing. Uh, red light, and then all yellow lights. We haven't, I guess, red light? I don't know. I am so confused. I think we can do with that. Okay, I may have somewhat forgotten how to get back to okay that's blocked off is it blocked off over here as well no it's not uh let's go back once again i'm trying to figure out let's let's actually take a look at the tablet see if we can figure out where this fence is and maybe he's in more of like a hub area where there's a bunch of stuff so fence where are we actually? Oh, can we not even use the map in here at all? Does not look like it. Uh, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. Okay, so we gotta figure out where the fence is. And I'm guessing there might be more stuff around him. That was just a regular scavenge thing, right? That wasn't anything special? No. I will start scavenging for more items, scavenging for more items and seeing if we can find anything crazy. But for the time being, I wanna find out if there's like, a hub or something like a general like big area with a bunch of stuff so i'm guessing that's where the fence is gonna be maybe the fence will tell us what he buys as well that'd be quite nice but let me keep exploring see if we can find something interesting oh oh 
What is this? This looks like the main area. Holy shit. This is... This is crazy. Oh, there's some people around. Okay. Okay, let's not fall into the sewer water. So, let's start exploring. This is... Wow, this is... This is really honestly... I'm sorry I keep saying it, but this is honestly one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen in GTA. Ever. So, who is this guy? Okay, so this is the fence. So, sell. Fence. Fence payout. I'm guessing we can't... Uh, sell much to him. Obviously, we don't have anything for the fence. But, nice to know it's here. Fence payout. Okay. I'm wondering... I, I, wonder, I don't think it would make money to be able to... I don't think it would make sense to be able to clean money through him. Unless it was, like, the group six money. But I think you need, like, the bigger bigger uh what's it called the bigger washing machines for that group six money we found a while ago so i don't think he does that but maybe he buys other stuff that the guy in sandy doesn't buy anything over in this little area doesn't seem like it Let's keep moving this is all sorry this is just this is crazy i've never seen anything like this all right what does this guy do purchase goods uh doesn't show us anything though i wonder if we need to like get higher rep down here maybe but this is, he doesn't have a rep thing with him so i'm wondering if maybe we need to get used to the smell to be able to buy stuff from him or something like that might as well try and steal stuff from his little uh, cart over here though while he's not looking you know but wow sorry this place is just crazy all right booze i'm guessing that is where the What's it called is the uh, moonshining stuff is most likely. Let's see. Maybe this is like a bar. What does this guy do? Rat Abwasser Canal. Again, what do you want? Okay, so obviously this guy doesn't want to talk to us yet. So I'm wondering if we have to spend time down here and get used to the smell before these people will actually talk to us. Well, that could be it uh because i don't see like a rep system with them so maybe it's just like over time the more time we're down here eventually these guys will start trusting us but i think that's all of the people again yeah this is the fence right yeah this is the fence over here Which, again we don't have anything to, for him to sell or for him to buy what's down in this area is there anything interesting down here there's like a huge chair here oh it's <laughs> quite a throne what is down here now anything doesn't seem like it what about in this area just you like, what is that i guess this is just gonna be trash on the ground yeah pick up trash that's what i thought doesn't look like anything in there make sure we're drinking as well we're getting a little thirsty I think that's like it for this main hub area now i'm not sure what else there could be down here but again this is one of probably the craziest interiors i've ever seen in gta ever but i don't i think we came in that way so let's try leaving the opposite way and see what we can find again i'm guessing a lot of these people we might just have to build our like sewer wrap i don't know if that's like a thing do any of these people have uh stuff on the tablet i'm guessing not but let's have a quick look so i remember the name of like one of them it was something with a super long last name but he's not in here fence farmer you're going to hunt old news fishing fence yeah okay i don't think he's here but i guess we keep exploring then that seems to be the main hub um i'm gonna keep exploring a little bit on my own see what we find uh, i'm gonna keep scavenging this maybe we'll find something useful as well but i'm gonna keep going on and see what's around all right well this looks like a little bit of an interesting area this might just be like a hangout spot i've been probably running for the past 10 15 20 minutes and this place just keeps going on and on. I may have gone back and forth a couple of times. Is there just a video camera over here or... 
what is that oh it just turned into trash never mind um i've been searching a lot of stuff and if we take a little look i have found uh, a couple things first of all from steel tubes metal off because i think we found those a little earlier uh, but i did find an old fruit as well as tempered glass but i think the old fruit is probably wait what did we just find another tempered glass i believe uh but i think the old fruit is most likely what you need for the moon shining and if i remember correctly the marabouts grande had told us that once we've been down here for a while we've gotten used to the air that the moonshine guy will trust us and we'll be able to make moonshine down here but obviously we're not to that point yet um i do probably want to get out of here soon we're not exactly running low on bandages uh we've gone through probably about half of them so about 21 of those better band-aids the condom band-aids and then about 40 something of the irregular band-aids but I think we're going to try and head out of here. Now, I have no idea where we're going to come out at. I have just been running. Trying to find anything. I have been trying to do some more sca uh, scavenging just in case we can find anything useful or interesting. Uh, so far, the most interesting thing I found was this old fruit. I'm guessing we probably don't want to eat that. But I'm guessing it's used for moonshine. Uh, if we end up running into anyone down here doing moonshine, we can probably just give them that because again, we can't do it at the moment Until we have learned a little bit more about the sewer life, but we're gonna try and find there should be An exit somewhere around here. Hopefully we gotta look for like that, that green exit sign is where obviously the exits are I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory there But I'm gonna keep going on and we should eventually run into them or run into one of those exits uh, now i don't know if there's a way to check like my sewer wrap or like oh yo Hello. do either one of you need uh an old fruit yes please i got you thank you yeah, no problem what's your name i'm says nice to meet you nice to meet you i'm hazel uh, i'm just gonna put it on the ground i'm not there you go thank you yep no problem have a good one you too all right, at least we found someone to give the fruit to but let's keep going and hopefully there's an exit somewhere it's always interesting running into people down here but oh there it is okay so that should be our exit question is where the heck are we coming out at because i have no idea at this point i've been running probably running for a half hour hour at this point so I don't exactly know where we're gonna exit out at, but let's head up here and see where we are. I just hope we're not at Grove Street because I'm not sure how those people are. Uh, we ended up doing like a news interviewing RP on the last stream. If you wanna check out the VOD as always, it should be up on the channel. But, oh shit, how do we lock unlock? uh do we need the crowbar in our hand somehow and then okay here we go okay that was scary i thought we were stuck down here for a sec oh boy okay we're just like uh we're just coming out in the middle of the street a little sketchy but finally back up to the surface to be honest i kind of like the sewers <laughs> it's nice and Nice and peaceful down there, but oh, these buildings are crazy too. I never even noticed these buildings. There is just so much custom stuff in no pixel. It really is crazy. But we're gonna head on back over to our car and uh, hop in. See what's going on. Oh, these are actual houses. Okay, so you can actually buy houses at these spots. Wow, why do I not remember this huge building being here last time we were around this area? But. What? I really don't remember this area being in the last time we played. I wonder if that's new. Look, like that's quite a huge building if it is new and for us to not notice it, if it's been there before. But let's try and make our way back over to our car and I'll meet you guys once we're back over there. All right. Back at our beast of a car, thankfully. No one stole it. Obviously leaving a expensive supercar like this out on the street is a little risky sometimes, but uh, thankfully we got lucky this time. No one tried to nab it. They're probably just intimidated. A little too fast for them to drive. Usual stuff, but holy shit. Quite interesting. Finally 
checking out the sewers seeing what's in them again honestly I'm, I'm a little i'm a little mind blown that's been probably one of the craziest gta things i've seen ever i mean honestly the surfer in general is insane like all these buildings are all custom like all this like this huge construction site is never there um obviously all those apartment buildings on the south side the whole friggin sewer system server is just crazy the more and more we've been playing on it the more and more interesting things we've been finding and hopefully you guys have been enjoying us finding them and exploring them and figuring them out as well uh now i do have an idea where i do want to talk to marabunta and see if they possibly are recruiting there seem to be super active look those people are always around um they seem super nice they've been helping us out with a bunch of different stuff so maybe maybe we end up talking to them in the future and trying to see if they are recruiting let me know what you guys think in the comments section below but i do actually think that is gonna be about it for this episode we are finally after quite a lot of time trying to figure it out finally able to explore the sewers on no pixel and see what it has to offer see what's around and of course find that huge hub which i guarantee you will be going back to in the future to try and check out and of course once we're used to the air down there possibly try and figure out the moonshining business try and figure out what that other person is down there and what they do they, they sell like uh sewer supplies or something i think maybe we can buy something from them to be fine in the sewers or something or maybe they sold the moonshine stuff i have no idea either way though a lot to figure out and a lot we've definitely figured out today but i think that's gonna be about it for this video if you guys did enjoy as always make sure to leave a like on this video and if you want to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.